I'm a writer. I'm not declaring myself as a good one, nor a bad one, or an average one. Just a person who simply dedicates a large amount of their time writing. I started young, at 7 or 8, writing in my diary and writing short stories. I don't quite know why. I guess I liked having a small secret of mine, a dialogue between me and my furry notebook, where I could write about my friends, how school was going, which boy I thought was cute, and which Harry Potter book was my favorite. As for the short stories, like many kids, I had quite an imaginary mind. I too wanted to be a spy and live in a magical world, and through transferring my imaginations onto paper, I could live it, in a way. And how about now, as an adult? Gloria Steinem once wrote that, writing is the only thing that, when I do it, I don't feel I should be doing something else. Worded so simply, yet to perfection, in my opinion, describing the primary reason for why I write. And it's not just the writing itself that I'm drawn to. I like books about writers, art portraying writers, typewriters, pencils, notebooks, bookshelves, typography, words, dictionaries, movies about writers, Kill Your Darlings, Midnight in Paris. My writing is selfless. I wanted to help people, on any scale, to move in the direction that they should, need, or want to be moving, or simply to move people emotionally. My writing is selfish. Writing is like a photograph, but of words, and it can live on for thousands of years. And I want to leave something behind. I want my great-grandchildren to be able to open a century-old journal of mine and feel something after I'm gone. I write for my personal fulfillment, to release what's within, to capture the moment for myself. I write for my future self, who will be reading about my past self, which is my current self. I want to be able to relive past moments, like how a second of smelling someone's perfume or hearing a melody can take you straight back to a moment in the past so quick that you hardly know what's going on. We write to taste life twice, in the moment and in retrospect. I make lists of things, names I like, food combinations that I would like to try, topics that I want to explore, quotes that I come across, words that I think sound beautiful. Elskling, sommaring, vårkänsla, maring, nattbad. Sometimes I will take a beautiful sounding word and try to make something out of it, perhaps a haiku. Five, seven, five. And so, I write because words are pretty, and I like playing with them. Oh yeah, there is no denying that there is an aesthetic component to writing. Choosing a font that appeals to you, or writing the same word or sentence over and over again but in different handwritings to see which one you like better. And some words just look really beautiful in writing, and they're satisfying to write out, like Penelope, Madeline, or Phoebe. And it's not just the physical aspect of it. Rearranging your sentences to where it sounds just right is oddly satisfying. Sometimes we will read a book where the writing style just doesn't appeal to us, even if we may like the content itself while some books just are beautifully written, like Stoner by John Williams. I write because I don't know what I think until I read what I say. I write because sometimes, when I think of something and then write about it, I start viewing it differently than I previously had. Acting on feeling typically doesn't turn out very well, and writing sometimes acts like the middleman between feeling and action. I'm sure it saved me from some trouble. I write to check myself. I was angry over a dispute once, but I didn't know exactly what I was angry at until I wrote about it. Was it him? Was it me? The both of us? The world? Someone else? Writing about it made me realize that it didn't matter, and I gave myself closure. So, I write to understand things, to uncover them, explore them, to give birth to new ideas and thoughts, to get clarity. Like a lot of people, I'm driven by curiosity in a lot of the things that I do, and writing is no exception. Whenever I come across a topic that I would like to learn more about, I write it down. And sometimes, I will set aside some time to actually explore that topic, other times it's left to dust. Socrates, what was he all about? Nostalgia, what even is that really? Why do dogs love us so much? You can make anything by writing. Every movie, every commercial, presentation, speech, your favorite song, your favorite character in that TV show, they come alive by the performer, and a lot of other people who help make it happen, of course, but they were given birth to by the writer, or multiple. 
possibilities of writing are limitless. We can create any character, any set, any events. We can go so deep into detail, deeper than any other medium that I know of can capture. Now, you don't need to have professional aspirations with your writing. In fact, I think writing as a hobby is severely underrated. And writing isn't just for those who feel like they have something important to say, or those whose lives are extraordinarily interesting, or for those who have had a profound realization and feel the urge to share with the world. You may, for instance, just want to practice articulating ideas, to edit, to rewrite, self-therapy, harness your creativity, pick a problem and attempt to solve it, get your scrambled thoughts in order, track your attention, recognize and process your emotions, explore your inner world, be embarrassed by your silly thoughts, and learn to laugh at it. And if you would like, you can share it with someone, just like how I'm sharing this with you. And now speaking of writing, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring us today. So at this point, most of you know that Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on a variety of topics, everything from video editing to photography to animation. I've gotten tons of value out of the classes that I've been taking on Skillshare during these past two years that I've had my membership and there is still so much more for me to explore. I'm currently in the midst of taking this class called Creative Nonfiction Write Truth with Style by Susan Orlean who is a staff writer at The New Yorker as well as the author of eight books. This class is packed with valuable information and and it's very thorough, so if writing interests you, which I'm guessing it does considering that you are here today, I would definitely recommend checking her class out as well as all the other great classes on writing. And now to do that or to try out any other classes on topics that may interest you, I have a special offer for you. So the first thousand of you to use the link in the description box will get 30% off the annual premium membership so that you can explore your creativity and even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Thank you so much for showing up here today. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon.